back to my channel. My name is Ruth, and this is the gist with Ruthie. Welcome to 2020. I know my video is coming a little bit late, but hey, guess what we have here, or what we have here, <laughs> as the case may be. I have my lunch here, and I'd like you all to join me while I dig in. It's um, rice and fish and geese dodo. So enjoy, <laughs> enjoy with me, basically. You welcome to 2020 once again. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be digging in my food while I talk. So I want you all to follow me and salivate along with me. <laughs> okay, how did your year begin, right? Um, it's been some days into the new year already, and I'm thinking that we are already having. Now we are already putting together, or we already put together our plans before the year began, and probably as this year has begun, we are doing something worth the while, right? Like you're not just wasting your time, you're not just. I know December was party after party, but this is January, guys. How is work? We are back to reality. <laughs> who pays school fees? Who pay house rent? You pay mortgage if you, if you have to. You buy food stuff. You do all of the other things. So yeah, welcome to the new year. And what's up with you? How's I stuff going on with you? Um, how's your family doing? Hope you guys had fun for the holiday season. Yeah. And like I, I think I didn't even. You welcome back to my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and every everything that is most important. Like please, can you help please help me get to more subscribers? Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. You know right. So we can get this ball rolling. You know how we do. Yeah. Um, for me, my year started um, quite not quite on the top. I was happy. It's a new year and I saw it, right? Like I'm in a new year. But um, I was thinking how to improve with my content this year on my YouTube channel and it's been a lot of thinking and how to promote myself, how to bring myself out there, how to do something better, how to, how to make videos that people would actually appreciate and always want to watch and would be um, prompted to tell somebody, to tell somebody, to tell somebody so I can have more subscribers, so I can have more viewers, so I can eat that map, you know, so I can keep the goal. So, yeah, I know most of people say, oh, that, that is the plan that you'd have made before 2019 ended. Well, yeah, I'm not the kind of person that likes to write that. I don't know how you do yours. Like, let, let me know in the comment section down below. How do you do your New Year resolution? Like, do you even have a resolution? I just, I just believe that New Year is just another day. Fine, it's another year, okay? But then it's another day. So if, if, it, if, you, if you didn't... You didn't have to write it down, oh, this year, I want to do this year, I want to do this year, I want to do that this year, I want to do that. That's my opinion. So most times I just have it in my head because I realize that, I many of you actually go back to what you've written that, oh, this year, this is how I want to live, this is what I want to do, this is how I want to go with my life and all that. How many of you actually do that? So I usually just don't write. I know the Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. I usually don't write, I always have it in my head. So I was actually trying to strategize on how to make the channel better. That is where I'm going. And I promise you all, we're going to have a smooth sailing ride this year. Amen. We are all going to enjoy every content I put out here on this channel. Because this year, I didn't come to play. <laughs> I know. How are you setting your goals for the year? Okay, what are you doing? Don't wait till when somebody pushes you, push yourself. Tell yourself you can do it and do it very well. Okay, and you may not do it well the first time, you may not do it well the second time, you may not do it well the third time. In fact, you may not do it well the tenth time. I was listening to one of my favorite online pastors some days ago, Pastor Bishop T.D. Jakes, and, and he was saying that before you can learn to do something right, you must have done it. 10,000 for 10,000 hours. I'm like, yo, 10,000 hours. So I don't know how you're gonna calculate that, but before you can get 10,000 hours, that means that you must 
that is when you become a perfectionist at that thing that you're trying to do and that stuff you're trying to achieve. Just what I'm saying. So um, don't say, oh, the year I started, I don't have a plan, I don't have a money, I don't have a job. Where do I start from? What do I do? What do I, where do I go? I mean, who will help me and all of that? You, my friend, go out there. Talk to people. Meet, meeting new people is really, really one good way while you can, how you can network and um, make a better use of your years. So you, you, don't, you, you are not just there lounging and wasting the whole of your time. And then thinking that everything will fall in place at its own time, okay? You must have made a plan. So for me, I don't necessarily write it down. But if you're somebody that loves to write, you can write it and make your year uh, and make your year one of the best ever. Okay? That's that about that. And the beginning of this year came as come with a lot of drama and a lot of things that are going on and happening and all that. And I just wanna I want us to talk about it for a minute. Now, um the year started on a very bad note. Yeah, not so pleasant with the old Iran and US thing and all that. I don't want to bore you with that because I don't do I don't really do politics. So I don't want to bore you with that story, okay? But then stuff and just last week um there was a plane that crashed. And oh yo come on guys. I feel that this year, most importantly, let us spread positive vibes, okay? Don't join the bandwagon. Sorry. After all that happened, right? We had um, this bombshell story. Meghan Marco and our husband, Prince Harry, and he's been everywhere, all over social media, and I'm like, okay, what exactly is going on? Do you understand? Like, a lot of people, they just, they don't even know. Trust me. A lot of people just follow, oh, this is what people are saying. I'll just join them to say whatever. You don't have to do that. Now, I went online, and I saw the nasty comment people have to say about Megan. And I was really pissed because you don't live in that house. Like, you don't know what happens there. You don't know what happens at Prince Palace. So, you can just sit somewhere and then think that, oh, it was Megan's idea that they move out of the royal palace, right? I don't think it was Megan's idea. And I think that Ari is a grown up man enough. To, um, this is my house. I want to protect my family. Whether people will support me or whether they wouldn't support me. I mean, that is my personal thing, right? So, everybody makes their choices and you don't wait for people to come and um, address it to say, oh, the choice you've made is okay or not. So why don't you let other people make their choices as well? Why do you want to jump into people's life and make their choices on how they want to live their lives or where they wish to live? How would you want to do that? I saw a lot of comments and people said, oh, they want to move out of the palace after they use taxpayers' money to pay for to do their wedding and all of that. I'm like, you really? The wedding was how many years ago now? We are not in the palace, like I said earlier, and we don't know. And I've seen that over time in the news, there's always negative news somehow circulating about um, Megan. And I think the husband has just had enough. Like, let's let's just call it right here, okay? Let's call it spirit. I want to take the book by Leon. This is my family. I have a responsibility to protect them. This is my wife. I don't want her to be bullied. If years after they've been married, they still do not accept Megan for who she is, I mean, that is their loss, okay? That is just another human being. So you cannot just be hating on somebody maybe because she's black or because she's this or because she's not from a real family and all of that stuff. We need to learn to let people um, do them, okay? Like, do you, let me do me. Don't force your own doing down my own doings. I am not you, you're not me. I cannot 
I cannot make um, everybody happy. You cannot make everybody happy. And you, you set that standards for yourself most times, and you want everybody to follow and pull through. So why don't you want other people to set their own standards and let, every, let them make their decisions the way they want to, and how it suits them to, to do it? Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I've had enough. Okay, I read stuff. Most times, while they are still even thinking that, okay, this is what we want to do, well, Megan is still in the presence of crying or whatever. It's already all over the news everywhere. I don't know the people, the spies in the, in the, at, the, at the Queen's Palace that breaks the news out to the whole world and let people feel that, oh, this is what, this is the next step. Even Megan and Kate Middleton, they've not been on, I mean, I, I've never seen that rapport, like that friendship, like that closeness is not there. So you don't want to live somewhere where you're not being accepted or where you're not being liked or where you're not being um, accepted, like I said earlier. Yeah, you don't want to live somewhere where people see you differently. You don't want to live in that kind of place. If I live in a house, if I rent a house, if I rent a house rather, and I live there, and the people there react to me in a kind of way, I'm, like, I'm not going to be comfortable. So if she's not comfortable with where she is, and she feels that, oh, I would like to move forward, I would like to move on with my life, not here, somewhere else, okay? I think we should, we should, we should allow them. You should allow them. You, you, nobody has any right to make any laws and decisions for, for somebody else. These are all grown-up people. Let them make their decisions. I almost forgot that I was eating, guys. <laughs> when I get serious, I just forget myself. Come join me once again. <laughs> I mean, let people make decisions for themselves. If you see, this life is too, it's too short not to be enjoyed. It's too short to be endured. And then you keep enduring and enduring and enduring and enduring forever. So when, I, when exactly are you, going, are you going to enjoy the reason for your personal existence? Do you understand what I'm saying? When are you going to enjoy your existence? When the whole world is saying something and it's all over the news and, uh, and it's, they, they said they'll be moving to North America. And some people already said, oh, she'll be going to Toronto because uh, Toronto is, is in Canada. That she's that they, that they said they'll be moving to Toronto, and I'm like, okay, they, they didn't even mention where they are going, so probably it's just one person there. Just, they just find that place that leaks this news out to the media, to the press, and everybody has this information. When the people that even have the story have never come to say, Oh, this is where we are moving to, and I'm glad that they did not say they want to move to the US because controversy would have been that, yeah, maybe she wants to go back to her celebrity lifestyle. She wants to go. She she wants to be with her. She wants to be with her close to her, um, her fellow actors and actresses and be doing all of that stuff because she does not want to be royal. Which, or because she doesn't know how to behave behave in a royal manner. That is why she's. That's why they, were, they are moving to the U.S. No, they are not moving to the U.S. And I'm glad about that. So I wish them. Actually wish them well like to each his own do you let me do me Okay, don't force you down me. I am not you. You are not me. How about that? I'm training rhymes <laughs> But my rhymes is not rhyming at all <laughs> Guys That is that about Megan and Harry. I wish them well wherever they want to go Okay, and let nobody castigate anybody for making Let nobody castigate grown-ups especially yeah for making the decisions um that they that they come together to make okay it could be megan's idea it could be ari's idea it could be both of them's idea okay so don't go saying oh it's megan's idea it's ari's idea no i know that, i know that starts to be megan's idea because she's the one that wants to break the real family apart no don't do that auntie nobody asks you okay God, it's a lot of. I thought this video is gonna be short, but at the moment it's, it's, it's not really long. Um, I wish you guys a wonderful 2020, okay? And I want you to have to enjoy the time. Don't take the things that you took last year from people the hate, the bitterness, the sadness, the bad words. Don't take them in this year. They tell it to you, my friend. Does the time it does even does the person join yourself and keep your life moving forward because that is the most important you need to you need to be concerned about you first before you're concerned about any other person like this is me i want to be happy 
okay and you try to work towards that and try to achieve your aim and all of that school stuff has started guys i mean it's going to be another busy four months ride here but i'm going to try to continue to post videos and all that please comment like subscribe I can't emphasize enough. Please, I'm begging you. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notifications each time I post a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week, people. Take care of you. Enjoy the rest of January. And come February, um, let's have some swell time. Love you guys.